Hello everybody, welcome back to my English class. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about future tenses. We will discuss future simple, future continuous, and future perfect. Well, let's get started with future simple. So what is a future simple? Future simple is used to describe an action in the future. For example, we'll finish our assignment tomorrow. Or we're going to finish our assignment tomorrow. So we can use either will or be going to. This is the positive form. And this is the negative form. We will not finish our assignment tomorrow. We're not going to finish our assignment tomorrow. So we just add not here. Okay, and this is the question. Will we finish our assignment tomorrow? Will we not finish our assignment tomorrow? Okay, so this is the negative, sorry, the interrogative form. We just move will to the beginning of the sentence. Okay. So this is the form of the future simple. We have subject, will, and base form. Okay, here we have subject, we, we have will, and base form of finish. All right. And these are the time markers for future simple that we can use, like tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, or this afternoon. All right, let's continue. Okay, let's look at future simple in conversations. Where's Mary? I heard she's here. She'll come tomorrow. Okay, so Emily uses will and tomorrow here. Okay, let's look at the second conversation. Mark, why didn't you pick up the children? They went to science museum with their teacher. They're going to be home at four. So here we use going to be. Going to be home. And the time marker at four. All right. All right, now let's look at the contraction. Contracted form of simple future. So it's common we reduce the form of simple future example we will finish our assignment tomorrow and two we'll finish our assignment tomorrow we will not finish our assignment tomorrow and two we won't finish our assignment tomorrow and then going to we're going to finish our assignment tomorrow we're going to finish our assignment tomorrow and we're gonna finish our assignment tomorrow so gonna is used in Conversation. Okay, now let's look continue. Future continuous or progressive. What is future continuous? The future continuous express an action that will be in progress at a time in the future. So, an action that is in progress at a time in the future. For example, okay, I will start to work at 7.30. My mom will go home at 8. So this is a situation. And we can use future continuous to here. I will be studying when my mother goes home. Okay, so I will start at 7.30, right? And when my mother goes home, I will be studying. Okay, probably I will be studying at 7.45. Okay. And then I'm reading a book in the library now. This situation. I will be reading a book at the same time tomorrow. Okay. Now, let's say at 8 o'clock. And then we can say, I'll be reading a, a book at the same time tomorrow. Maybe at 8, 8 o'clock as well. Okay, the third situation. Don't drop by at 10 because I won't be home. I'm going to be shopping at the market at 10. Okay. So here we, ha we use... Be going to plus verb ing shopping at the market at 10. All right, okay. So, for future continuous, we use future continuous if the actions will happen in the future. Okay, we are sure that the actions will happen, so we use future continuous. And remember, we must have time markers if we use future continuous, time markers are essential. In future continuous. Okay, let's look at more examples. I will I will be playing soccer at 4 p.m. At this time tomorrow, we will be studying English subject. 
my kid will be sleeping by the time I get home. Okay, can you see we have time markers at 4 p.m. at this time tomorrow. By the time I get home. Okay, let's look at conversation between Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. I will be playing soccer at 5 tomorrow. Do you want to come along? And Ronaldo replies, Sorry man, at 5 tomorrow, I'll be swimming with my kids. What about Saturday at Camp Nou? Okay, it's interesting, right? Okay, so this is the example of future continuous in conversation. Okay, now let's look at more. It's about John and Lori. What are you doing here? I want to buy a ticket. Why? Tomorrow I'm going to leave for New York. When I arrive at the airport, my whole family will be waiting for me. Yes, you can see the whole family are waiting for Lori. Second, what time will you go home? We'll have dinner at 7. And Sue replies, I think I will have dinner early outside, mom. I will be watching a film in the movie at 7. Okay, so at 7, Sue will be watching a film. Okay, let's continue to the third feature, which is future perfect. What is future perfect? The future perfect expresses an activity that will be completed before another time in the future. Okay, we can say another time at a specific point in the future. Okay, let's look at examples. I will have started my university study by this time next year. I will have finished my homework by the time my father comes home. Okay, so this is the form, subject, plus will, plus have, plus past participle, or verb 3. Okay, so here we have subject, we have will, we have have, and past participle. Okay, finished. Alright, now let's look at the use. Okay, future perfect simple. I will have finished the report before the deadline. Okay, here we have. An example, I will have finished the report by 7 p.m. By 7 p.m. means I may finish the report before 7 p.m. Okay, so I may finish it here, 6 p.m. Okay, the point is I must finish it by the deadline. The deadline is 7 p.m. Okay, in Future Perfect Simple, we must have a deadline. We need a deadline. So the deadline here is this one. So we can call it another another time or specific point. Yeah, this is the future simple, right? An activity that will be completed before another time. So the activity will be completed here before another time. So this is an, another time, the deadline or specific point in the future. So I will have finished the report. Yes, here. I will have to finish the report here. Why? 7. The deadline is 7. Okay. Let's look at more explanation. The future perfect. This tense is used to describe an event or action that will be completed before another time or event or time in the future. Yeah, the same. Example, we will have finished the exam by the time class ends tomorrow. Okay. By the time the class ends means sometime before the class ends. So sometime is here. Sometime before the class ends here. So the example is here. We will finish the exam. The deadline to finish the exam is by the time the class ends. So we will have finished the exam here. This is the deadline. The deadline is the ending of the class. Okay. The third one. I will have finished dinner by the time she calls me tonight. Or we can say by the time she calls me tonight, I will have finished dinner. Okay. Can you see here? We have deadline, which is 8 p.m. So she will call me here. So I will have finished dinner around here, sometime here. So the example here, at 6 p.m. Yeah, by the time she calls me tonight means sometime 
before she calls me, I will finish dinner. So the example, I will finish dinner at 6 p.m. Yeah, we can also say here, but before 8 p.m. Or the deadline is 8 p.m. Okay, let's look at more examples for future. Perfect. I will have a ride at school by the time the students come. By the time the students come means some time before the students come. I will arrive at school. We will have already submitted our assignment by 12. By 12 means some time before 12. We will submit our assignment. My students will not have arrived yet by 7 a.m. So here we have not which means negative, it means they won't arrive by the deadline. So, they won't arrive by 7 a.m. They'll probably arrive sometime in the future after 7, maybe 7.30 or 8 a.m. after 7. Okay, yes, now it's time for exercise. Try to make your own sentences using future simple, future continuous, and future perfect. You can comment down below and we can talk about it together. Well, I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.